In this video, we're gonna be using PAA Awesome Sauce and the PAA Phantom Blue Slant Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and as mentioned before, today we're going to be using PAA Awesome Sauce which is a scent I asked Douglas to make oh some years back and he made it I think in 2020 and if you're curious as to what this smells like, first we'll put the notes on the screen for you right there, but it smells like this classic aftershave, Perazzo Green, not the per Perazzo Green Soap, but the Aftershave, which to me always smelled much better than the soap. It's got a bright, sort of green bar barbershop sort of vibe to it. And so this soap actually goes with this splash, unlike the Perazzo Green Soap, which really doesn't smell like the splash. So Douglas was kind enough to make this for me, and I absolutely love it. And the reason I'm using this in part is because Douglas and Fran is going to be on Real Talk this Friday at 8 p.m. So I hope to see you there. That should be a, a fun show. Anyway, awesome sauce. And that is me right there on the label. This happens to be the CK6 formula, which comes to you for $24.95 for five ounces. And that is $4.99 on our cost chart there, which is a fair price. But you can also get it in the regular CK formula for $14.95 for four ounces, which is $3.73 an ounce, which is a good price on our cost chart. So PAA gives you options there, which I really, really like. This is a vegan soap. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And I'm telling you, I love this classic scent because once I got into traditional shaving, this was one of the first uh, uh, aftershaves that I bought. And I have a lot of reverence for this scent. It is just fantastic. Really good scent strength on this, at least medium to medium high. And I absolutely love it. There's a look at the soap. The consistency on this is soft but not too soft. We used about a half teaspoon um, of soap and we have plenty of lather here in our Captain's Choice bowl and we're going to get into it. Oh, one thing I used also today was the chill meal. And one of the things I want to mention is if you're one of those people who grind it up and you don't like chunks in your um, in your soap when you grind the the menthol crystals in there. You can put it in a dish like this and put some warm water in it and it will dissolve. And then you can just use the water. You can do it that way if you like. If you let it cool, it will um, it will re-solidify. So pour it in your soap, the water, and use it to you know make your lather with while it's still warm and you'll be good to go. No chunks or anything like that. If that's a concern for you, it's not really a concern for me, but I just wanted to pass that on to you. The razor for today is the PAA Phantom Blue uh, razor, which is a slant razor. As you can see there, it's both slanted and torqued and it's open comb. And this pays homage to the Faison razor of the 30s, the double uh, slant razor, very light. This is some sort of uh, plastic ABS or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, inside is a feather blade and we look forward to using this today. I have under 24 hours of growth today because I'm shaving a little bit early. Got a lot of stuff to do today, a lot of work to do and so forth. So. Let's get into it. The brush is the Phantom Air Light, which I really love a lot. All the products will be linked below. And whenever I have products listed in the affiliate link section, it helps the channel. So I thank you if you use the links, but never required, and I certainly don't ask you to. All right. We have a nice lather here, nice hydrated lather with our PAA. Really look forward to talking to Douglas and Fran this Friday night. If you have any questions you would like me to ask Douglas and Fran, pop them below. I also want to remind you that uh, I announced a new giveaway yesterday in the uh, video where I'm using the uh, Fabian Electro Razor. So check that out and enter that giveaway if you please. Oh yeah, nice lather here, nice scent. This was not finicky at all lather despite being soft. That's one of the things I like about PAA. It, it brings lather quickly and easily. You don't have to coax it too much. It just comes right along. And I hope you can see the sheen on that lather. It's it's definitely nice stuff. And we're gonna have a great shave today. And we'll have a great day as well. You always start the day in positive fashion with a great shave. And it really, for me, it makes my day. <laughs> it starts it out right, you know. I know some people are night shavers. I like to... Uh, I like to shave in the morning and get that day started off right. It just invigorates me. And so here we go. Very nice. This is a very light razor, obviously, but it is effective. 
with the feather blade. The slant concept uses the guillotine sort of concept where it cuts at an angle like so versus being straight across. Um, whether it's more effective or not, some people think it is, some people think it doesn't make a lot of difference. You, um, I suggest you try it and see for yourself. It doesn't make a razor more aggressive, meaning you get more blade feel and stuff like that. Slant does not, uh, by default, do that. You can have a slant razor that's very, very mild. You can have a slant razor that's very aggressive. Yachi makes a, a uh, razor, an aggressive slant razor that's quite aggressive. This one doesn't feel, you just feel a little bit of blade on the face, so it's not too blade feely, but it manages to be effective and it's cutting all the same. And the soap here, really good quality. Again, this is the CK6, which is a little more expensive. You do get another ounce. One of the things I wanna uh, remind you of, if you're going to buy a PAA soap and splash, buy the bundle, because you will save some money. One of the things that, I, that uh, I like about PAA is they do sell bundles. So if you buy the set, um, aftershave and soap, you save money. And I wish more artisans would do that, but many don't. But PAA does. So I recommend, you know, if you're looking at a soap and you know it's going to be a home run, buy the bundle and you'll save some money. A lot of times if I'm not sure about a scent, uh, I won't buy the aftershave because I don't want to miss on both. But if I'm sure, and if it's one of those things where it's a scent that I know I'm gonna like, uh, with PAA, I'll buy the bundle because that is your opportunity to save some money. I think the CK bundle is usually around $35 for the soap and aftershave. The CK6 is something like 44, I wanna say, somewhere thereabouts. So you can save a little money if you bundle. So keep that in mind. Ah uh, yes, very nice, smooth. Again, this razor very light by virtue of it being plastic, but it still cuts. You might be tempted to, to use a little pressure, but it's not really necessary. Just get it to the working angle and uh, it will cut. It definitely cuts well. It does feel mild, so you're not gonna get a ton of blade feel, but you'll get some. You'll get enough to know it's cutting, you know. But it does a nice job and I'm feeling that menthol now and there is some menthol in this um, the soap itself but I added some menthol via the chill mill and so when I use awesome sauce I like to double down on the menthol just for you know to me it's invigorating so I really like it it's it's always fun again I hope to see you all on real talk this Friday that will be on Instagram live and of course I tip typically air those episodes on uh, YouTube the following day so but it's always more fun if you can join us. Uh, David, So Sharp David, is going to be on uh, hiatus from Real Talk for a bit because it's football season now that school is back in session. They didn't have football last year because of the corona. Um, but football season is back, so he's coaching on a lot of the days that we would have Real Talk on the Fridays as football games. So he won't be on probably for, you know, uh, some weeks or maybe a couple months till the football season is over. But we will press on and have uh, different folks on the show. And then when David is uh, free, he will join us once again. So shout out to David there and wishing him a successful football season. It's probably going to be difficult after having a, you know, they, there was no football season last year because of the pandemic. So he's back at it and wishing him a lot of success with that. But we'll still be plugging along on on Real Talk, and so I hope you'll continue to join us. We'll have some uh, guest hosts and some artisans and so on and so forth, so. Stick with us and we'll hope to bring you some good stuff. All right, let's get into it here. I might just do two passes today, so maybe we'll go against the grain on the cheeks and then do a little shaving on residual slickness. We'll see how effective this slant razor can be. I do a lot of buffing strokes when I'm doing two passes. Sometimes I do three, sometimes I do two. It just depends on how much time I have and what I want to do. And today I might uh, cut down the time a little bit and
do two and then we'll do a little shaving on the residual slickness here of the CK6. It should be no problem at all, but I encourage you if you are a new shaver, and I know those of you who aren't new shavers get tired of hearing this, but keep in mind new people come every day and I'm thankful for those new folks coming to traditional shaving. My recommendation is only shave areas where there's soap. Don't keep going over areas like you'll see. Many of us experienced traditional shavers will do this, what I'm doing right now. Going over that area with residual slickness, but I know my lather is on point. I know it's there's still a sheen of slickness there, allowing the razor to glide without stopping or causing any sort of irritation. I know I can get away with this. What you have to do is figure out how things work for you and you know dial your lather in to where it works most effectively for you. But in the beginning stages, I suggest you just shave an area, move, move it over, and don't do a lot of buffing on residual slickness as I'm doing now. But over time, you'll learn what you can and cannot do, so keep that in mind. You will get to a point where you know exactly what you can do to achieve the best possible shave, and if you need to speed it up just a bit, you'll be able to do that. But traditional shaving really is not about speed. You know, sometimes we speed it up a little bit because we have things going on, but ideally you set aside enough time to, uh, to really enjoy your shave. 20 to 30 minutes probably is average for most people. You have people that do it in far less, but you know, somewhere around 20 to 30 minutes for your shave. If you just build that time into your day, and I know some people say they don't have time. Believe me, you can find the time. Get up 20 or 30 minutes earlier. <laughs> it's worth it, in my opinion. I get up earlier just so I can try to watch some other folks' videos and prepare, and it's worth it for me because I, I truly enjoy it. And so for me, this, um, you know, sleeping 20 or 30 minutes less, or actually I get up far earlier than that, <laughs> but it's more than it's more than 20 or 30 minutes but if just for the purpose of getting your shave in if you you know sleep 20 or 30 minutes less i think it's worth it i think it wakes you up you know it, it gets gets things going or at least it does for me i think it's worth that little investment maybe go to bed 20 or 30 minutes earlier and you know recoup it that way because we all know sleep is important i'm not suggesting you uh deprive yourself of sleep but definitely make time to have these shaves and luxuriate enjoy yourself give yourself a little me time that's what this is this is me time or it's us time because i'm sharing it with you but um wow what a nice shave today great slickness on the soap the razor's cutting well it's mild so i'm making a lot of extra buffing strokes well, plus i'm only doing two passes so i'm doing a lot more buffing as a result of that but anyway great Great shave all the same with the good old awesome sauce, which smells fantastic. And I'm getting a lot of menthol cooling, so you know I'm digging that. All right, let me uh, rinse, then we'll come back into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse, removed the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum, no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave with the blue phantom razor from PAA today. I think this is sold out, but they do have some other colors. So check that out if you please feather blade in there. Following the alum, we did another cool water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. I had an excellent shave today with awesome sauce. It has got that classic Perazzo Green aftershave scent, not the soap. I really enjoyed it, fantastic. Thanks so much to Douglas for uh, making this. I really enjoyed it. Don't forget, catch us this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern with Doug and Fran of PA on Real Talk Instagram Live. That information will be below. Of course, we used the Chill Mill today. We used our PAA Amber Air Light brush and that's in our Lancaster Razor Works uh, brush soaking mug, which I like a lot. Captain's Choice bowl with plenty of lather left over. And today we're gonna to close it out, of course, with awesome sauce. And remember folks, if you know you're buying something you're gonna like from PAA and you're gonna get the aftershave and the, the soap, buy the bundle, cause you will save money. And this one doesn't have a, well, it does have a restrictor, but if you're, if you're not careful, a lot will come out. So I just put my finger over and 
boom, just like that. Very easy, very simple. I like that. Oh yeah, woo, woo, woo. great scent. Oh man, there's nothing better than getting your day started like this with an invigorating scent, with a great shave. And I hope your day today starts out wonderfully as well. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.